Today, we're going to review the most used for spectroscopy in our lab, IR spectrum. The IR spectroscopy is, is usually used to help us identify the functional group of our molecules in lab. Because each functional group has a unique absorption peak in IR spectrum, based on the wave numbers and the size of absorption peak, we can determine the functional group of our molecules based by the uh, table 15.2 characteristics frequencies of absorption IR spectroscopy. For example, to identify this carbon oxygen double bond, there should be a strong peak show, shown in frequency range from 1600 to 1800. Next, we're going to give two more specific examples to explain the IR spectrum. Hey everybody, we are looking at example unknown 1. The first striking feature in this spectrum is OH stretch. It is a large, broad peak centered at 3300 cm. We can know this oxygen atom is not part of carbonyl group because there is no intense band around 1700 cm. Another striking feature is the absence of intense arcing CH group between 2800 and 3,300 centimeter. This suggests there are relatively few arcing CH group because their intensity is pretty low. It is a, it is a substituted benzyl ring. Um, it contains a substituted benzyl ring because the region we are looking at is below 10,000 centimeter. And and it is suggesting the benzyl ring is parallel dissubstituted. So in the last, in the in the end, we are looking at the structure unknown one contains a methyl group, a, um, a hydroxyl group, and a benzyl ring. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at an example real quick. We've got one on page seven twenty eight in the book, uh, and it gives us. A, like a generic molecule and then the uh, the pattern for it here and first thing we can see is this spike here as a pretty telltale sign that there's going to be a carbonyl group right because if we look at the spike it occurs around like let's call it 1700 1750 somewhere in there right so we look at our handy chart here and uh, 1700 corresponds to a bunch of different carbonyl groups like ketones, aldehydes, esters, carboxylic acids. So we know it's one of those. Uh, second thing is this huge spike here. That's the other major contributor to the structure. And we can look and see that that one sits around 2800, right? And it's got some, some width here and it goes to about 3000, right? So 3000 the 2800 and then again we can consult our chart and look for something that goes 2800 to 3000 and that is alkanes so it, you know it makes sense because our molecule we're given is literally just an alkane with a carbonyl group right it's a it's a ketone so you know it's pretty simple stuff